Failure upon failure by Congress to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, President Trump is making his own moves. As Karen Kafa explains, this path means using executive orders to tear into the massive plan piece by piece. President Trump explaining his dramatic moves to strike Obamacare provisions. We're taking a little different route than we had hoped because getting Congress, they forgot what their pledges were. After Trump signed an executive order Thursday that would allow insurers to offer less comprehensive plans than required under Obamacare, the White House announced an end to federally funded CF cost-sharing reduction payments to insurance companies, $7 billion in subsidies that help 6 million lower-income Americans pay for health care. In a tweet, the president called on Democrats to help him fix the law, but they have sharply criticized his moves. Make no mistake, last night the president single-handedly decided to raise America's health premiums for no reason except spite and cruelty. And despite congressional Republicans railing against the CSRs as illegal for years, there are some concerns within the party about the realities of an abrupt ending. I'm fearful now that the president has made this announcement. This will destabilize the insurance markets. It will raise premiums for a lot of folks. Others in the GOP backing the president, but still urging a legislative repeal and replace. The president said he is no longer going to engage in making these payments. So let's move forward and do what we should have done a long time ago. What we in the House actually got passed, let's move forward on that. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.